Hey, we're checking out the Retro Minis add-on packs. We're going to be adding a Nintendo 64 high definition pack, and we're also going to be adding a Nintendo DS uh, pack as well. We're going to see some of the other packs out there, like the PlayStation pack, the Techno Parrot pack. Uh, there's a Wii and a Wii U pack, and a bunch of other packs I'm sure you're interested in. So this front end, if you missed my review of it, is beautiful. It even comes with some little Easter eggs, like magazines and things, uh, running Rocket Launcher. This thing's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and check out these packs, install them, and then play some gameplay. So it looks like you have a few different packs here to check out. You have PSP, PlayStation 3, Nintendo Switch, Techno Parrot. Looks like Techno Parrot is one of the more popular ones. Um, Nintendo 3DS, Wii, Wii U, PlayStation. So you can absolutely start with that base image and then grab these packs. Now looking at the size of these packs, they're not necessarily complete packs um, of the whole entire system. But um, some of them are pretty big, like the Techno Parrot, I imagine, is quite a few games. Same with the PlayStation. There's no way 8 gigabytes is all the, the PlayStation games. So it does look that they will tell you which games are included per pack. So let's go. Wii U is a big one. Let's see what was in that one. So, eight games added to the Wii U. Techno Parrot. Five games. You got Batman. You got Golden Gun, Overdrive, and was that Fighter Felix? I'm not sure. And then Batman. All right, so here we have we downloaded the Nintendo 64 HD. And what I'm told is you just want to copy the whole thing over to your Retro Mini Neo and go ahead and overwrite. And let's, we're adding this back in. And then when we launch Retro FE again, we're going to have those new Nintendo 64 HD pack all installed. So we have it on there now. Let's launch it up. Okay, cool. So it actually makes a new folder called Nintendo 64 HD. And then here are our games. We have only eight, but supposedly they're gonna be HD. So let's try Super Smash Brothers. <laughs> I wanna try pausing the game here because supposedly, yeah, look at that. You got N64 magazine how cool is that morning not too bad thanks what's this poking around wow blast from the past where's my uh walk through when i need one wow Yeah, it's giving you some advice. Mission Impossible. Ultra release list. Wow, all the games for Nintendo 64. Guide to scoring. Man, they did not give those games very good scores. Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey got in Killer Instinct. King of Pro Baseball really did well. Cruising USA, I, I'd agree with that. Killer Instinct, I feel, should maybe be higher, but whatever. Here you go, your Super Mario 64. That's awesome. Press back, and then you have the uh, Nintendo Official Guide. Let's click into that. That's so cool. Oh, and you can zoom in with your uh, bumpers. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's check out HD. Yeah! 
Ooh. Ooh. Gotta be careful there, bro. Get out of my kitchen. So, running HD. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and select start, exit out. She got some pretty good games here. Duke Nukem. You got Zelda. And these are going to run really good on your PC because you've got a lot more power. Try to get the clip. There we go. I think I can shoot this too, right? My analog stick is so sensitive. I need to lower it. Yeah, I got it. All right, now we're gonna try the 3DS pack for our micro mini. Should be an N for Nintendo. There we go. Now we have a Nintendo 3DS. And we have Animal Crossing, Super Smash Brothers, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Bros. 2, new Super Mario Bros. 2, Metroid, it's actually some good games for the system. Super Mario Kart 7 and Zelda of Link to the Worlds. All right, let's give uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Let's go. Let's go. So there you have it for your add-on packs. I went ahead and added Nintendo 3DS and my Nintendo 64 HD. Remember there's a Techno Parrot one which would actually go really well with this because you can uh, you have the Model 2, Model 3, um, and then you also have that huge arcade set. So it would kind of really complete this in my mind as far as a nice arcade. Um, and then you have you know all sorts of consoles, you know Wii, Wii U, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, PSP to add on to here as well to make it more complete or whatever you're looking for to customize it to your own. So if you missed my original video, I love the look of this. Like just look how look good it looks and then when you go inside, it tells you everything about the game. Upper left hand corner is the name, upper right hand corner is the plat the, the console, the time, how many games you have. Bottom right hand corner is the type of game, how many players, and the year it was released, and then the publisher in the lower left hand corner. So 
pretty cool that it's so sleek, yet it has <clears throat> some really nice, it's still visually stunning. So whether you care about that metadata or not, it's still really beautiful. So the add-in packs are really easy to do, drag and drop. Um, my only beef with them is that there are only a few games. So, you know, you do have to kind of sort through and if you want to add like one specific game, it might be a little harder for all you to get the ROM and set it all up and everything where these packs are so, you know, drag and drop. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.